Now, honestly, it's hard to say, you know, what it actually did, what it was responding to, whether it was responding to the cop or it saw the other car run the red light. But I believe it was a combination of both. And so what we're finding is that you just can't have some random person in the middle of the street directing traffic. Right. It's using contextual clues to say, hey, there's somebody directing traffic and there's a red light there. And so it's okay to run the red light when somebody motions through. I know that can get kind of dangerous if, right. you know, if it's just some random person motion. You don't, you don't want that to happen. Well, it, it may be detecting that it is an officer or a construction worker. I think that because I was a regular person and it ignored me completely. Right. So, you know, was was a cop black? Yes. Okay. So it's not race. It has nothing to do with race. <laughs> hey, got to check. It's America. You did know? have on a green jacket. You did have on a green jacket. <laughs> he, had a, he had the reflective. Yeah. yeah. So maybe it understand. And the fact that, remember, I was not at a light. I was not at a traffic light. I was just in the middle of a street or whatever. Correct. So maybe it knows that, hey, if there's a traffic light and there's a person there and that person appears to be a construction worker or a cop, then I will obey. Otherwise, I won't. Because just because a car ran a red light, that can't be enough. Right. Yeah, it can't, can't be. Because yeah. we've all seen cars run red lights and you yeah. don't want your Tesla to follow right behind them. Yeah.